What's going on? Another video here from Tom McGivern. This one today is going to be about searching online for a home. And I'm going to go over the seven tips for you to organize and do it efficiently. Before we dive into that, I want to introduce myself. My name is Tom McGivern. I'm a licensed realtor and I provide resources to home buyers and home sellers so that the process of them in the real estate transaction is seamless and smooth. All right, so let's dive in. One of the things that you want to do in the seven steps to organizing your search is real simple. You want to know what your price point is. Part of knowing your price point is knowing your down payment and how much it's going to take for you to buy a home. So how much you need to have saved, how much you need to earn, okay? And then you need to break that down into your monthly payment. See, most folks, they think the price, right, of the house is most important. But really, what's the most important is how much money you're putting down and what your monthly payment is going to be as a result of how much you put down. That you've got to include your taxes and your insurance. That, that, that. So a great way to know what your mortgage payment's going to be is to use a mortgage calculator. Down below in the description is you're going to see a link there for a great mortgage calculator. Now keep in mind with a mortgage calculator, they are only estimates, okay, of what the insurance is gonna be and other things. And don't forget to factor in the taxes, especially on Long Island. Da, da, da. Now once you get all that situated, you're gonna know, okay, this is what I can afford. So now you're gonna start pricing out your home search and be searching by the price of the home and how much it's gonna cost you, right? Again, keep in mind those taxes, especially on Long Island. With that, you wanna be able to now determine what type of home that you are looking for. Not only the four bedrooms, two bathrooms, basement, uh, other things that are in the house, but what kind of style home do you want? Do you want a one level living house? Do you want two stories? Okay, that's the style of home that you're looking for. Also take into consideration how big you want your yard to be and all the associated costs with taking care of a big landscape and uh, trees and trimming stuff down, all that kind of stuff. That's all the style of the house. Now the condition will be the next thing you wanna take into consideration. Condition overall, hey listen, it comes down to your ability to fix things and also the budget. Okay, you wanna keep in mind your budget for when you need to fix something or make repairs to the house. If you don't have the money to do it, you may wanna consider an, another route and make sure, hey, you know what? We don't wanna take on these big projects right now. We just wanna buy a house that's more move-in condition. Alternatively, if you do have the wherewithal to make improvements, you may consider well, buying an REO, which is a foreclosure or a short sale or another house that's in distress and needs a lot of work. You could save money that way. Which brings me to location, 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 location. Now you may be searching, you may be looking for a house where you're saying, hey, you know, I wanna live here, I wanna live in this school district, or you know, my parents live here, so I wanna live there, or whatever the situation is. However, location is the one thing in your search that you may need to compromise on, or you may need to compromise on the price or the condition and style, right? Overall, one of those three things you're gonna need to compromise on. The good thing is I have tips for finding the house that you want in your location, how to weed through and look for ways and certain types of properties that you can capitalize on and buy within your location. Get the house you want and the location. That'll be in the description in another video, which I'll send to you if you click the link below and contact me or leave me a comment and hey, say, hey man, I need to see that video about how to find the house that I'm looking for in the location I want. I'll send it over to you, no problem. Okay, now we're getting serious. One of the things I want you to do is keep track of what website you're on. Okay, why is that? Because I talked in another video about how the internet works, right? And the internet is an advertising tool your, where your information, your name, phone number, and in, uh, email is the target. Now, these websites are called aggregator websites. If you're on those, make sure that you're not giving up your information so readily, okay, and so quickly just to get some information on a house that you're probably not going to buy. Maybe you're not even ready to buy. Maybe you're, like, your search is two years out or one year out. Why click for more information when the only thing they're gonna do on those websites is send that information to another agent and that agent's gonna start calling you trying to build a relationship with you. And you know some of them will hassle you, okay? Why do that? So keep that in mind when you're searching online. Now the final thing that you wanna do, and this is super important, is you wanna act online, click buttons, 
request more information when you are ready, okay? And the thing that'll, that will help you do is to search for properties under the radar of real estate agents like me, okay? However, if you're interested in enhancing your MLS search, you can click the link below and that will take you to one of my tools that I use. It's Enhanced Multiple Listing Search. And I use this specifically with my clients and anyone who wants to really get take their search to the next level. All right, so check that out. All right, these have been the seven tips. If you got anything from it, please click the link below, say like and or subscribe to my channel here and like it or um, watch the next video. My home buyer toolkit and my home seller toolkit are there for you anytime, all right? Thanks a lot for watching this video. Take care.